Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check the signal strength of a Wi-Fi router. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, let's say you are connected to your Wi-Fi. There are a couple different ways that you can see how strong that signal is and whether you have a good signal or a bad one. Let's hop into your settings here and tap on Wi-Fi. Now, right next to where you can see this signal or this Wi-Fi network, Luddites and Neolites, you can see there are three bars indicating I have pretty good signal. I can tap the little I and you can see more information about it. And you can also look at other networks and you can see those don't have quite as good of signal. However, if you want more detail information about that specific signal, Let's just head into the App Store and type in iWiFi and hit search. So just download and install this app. It's completely free and it'll allow you to test that Wi-Fi signal on your phone. So let's open it up and we're going to tap on signal at the bottom left. And just hit start. Now, what you're going to see at the top left is the best DBM and the worst DBM at the top right. And it will just go back and forth and test your signal. So you can walk around the house. You can test it in your kitchen or your living room or if you're in your office or wherever. Now, let's just hit stop here. So I'm at negative 41 DBM, but you might be wondering, is that a good signal or a bad signal? Let's just open up this little chart here. You can see on here, what you're looking for is if you're closer to negative 90 dBm, it is probably a very bad connection. So the lower the numbers are, negative 90, for this instance, they're all negative, so lower is the higher number here. Negative 90 is the lower number. And then all the way up to negative 30. So I'm at negative 40 dBm. So I'm between maximum signal and excellent signal strength. Again, you want something closer to negative 30 dBm. That is a good indication that you have really strong and stable internet connection through your Wi-Fi router where you are. If you have a really bad connection, you might want to consider setting up a mesh network or some kind of boosters around your house or your office to help boost that signal throughout the walls and the ceiling and all that stuff so it reaches your entire home or office. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.